Tony, I have to I have to ask you first. There was some major awkwardness with Christina the other night. Do you think that uh, that you know having people like like Justin Timberlake and Sarah Bareilles tweeting you gives you an unfair advantage, or do you think she was a little off base? Uh, I don't know that I'd use the word unfair, but but advantage is definitely you know accurate. I mean these these are my friends, and and uh, certainly it's just them sort of trying to support their friend. Um, you know, yeah, the repercussions are, are, are sizable. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> as far as her overall you know constructive criticism, you know, um, I. I, I <laughs> I, I honestly, I think she's she's really well spoken on the show, and quite honestly, probably one of the most intelligent uh, on the subject of uh, you know vocals and singing and stage production and stuff. So, um, you know, I, I take it all in stride, and I, I value her opinion tremendously. Um, you know, a lot of people have kind of questioned the tone, and maybe that's where the awkwardness came in. But uh, you know, I, I I'm inspired by it. It's fine. I mean, obviously, there's there's some social media fallout, and everybody kind of wants to talk about this this little rivalry that continues but uh you know it's not my my place to speculate it's just um it happened and uh, we, we're moving on cool um juliet adam last night so that you or monday night rather so that you had the the best performance so far what was that like to hear um i mean you saw it on my face i was shocked <laughs> you looked very genuinely <laughs> shocked <laughs> i was yeah i was i was speechless it, it left me speechless um, both of you guys have, you know, had record deals and, and you've been in this industry for a while. What's it like, you know, performing other people's songs and covering other people's tracks? Are you guys, is it weird for you not to be able to you know, play songs that you've written? <laughs> you know, it's so, it's so strange for me. Um, yeah, most of my touring, performing, recording career, I, I think I've covered one song maybe. And so it was that has been my challenge th this entire season is, you know, taking somebody else's material and putting it, making it my own to the best of my abilities. Um, Tony, what about you? I know songwriting is a huge part of what you do. Yeah, I mean, uh, the covers that, that, that I've done over the years have always been a bit more of the obscure, you know, side of, of my favorite artists, <clears throat> you know, stuff that probably wouldn't play so well on on a big show like The Voice, and the producers are like, yeah, we don't know that song. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's a unique way of sort of checking your ego at the door and saying, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's interpret now for a while and, and see what we can do. And I, and I think Juliet's instincts are, are spot on, you know. I think with, with some of the more effective performances and, and certainly iTunes success stories of the season have been artists that took songs and sort of turned them on their head and made it their own and found a unique way of, of interpreting the song. And uh, I, I, would, I would imagine we see a bit more of that as, as the show progresses. Now that you've had the chance to, to see the, you know, experience the live shows, is there a little bit more strategy coming into play in terms of thinking about what people are going to buy on iTunes and what people are into? It, <laughs> I mean, it's hard because... Yeah, it's, it's weird because, like, uh, though, I, again, both of us being artists at heart, that, that, you know, our instinct is to, like, recraft and re reimagine. But, I mean, uh, you know, uh, case in point, we, she was number one on the rock chart. I was number two. Her version was vastly different than the original. Mine was almost a carbon copy. And so it's hard to say, like, what's going to be more viable. But uh, I think, you know, looking at it from an artist standpoint, making records is... is serious stuff you know it's what you're leaving behind it's it's immortalizing yourself and it's part of your legacy so when you look back or when people look back years from now and your record's still out there on itunes you know what did you do what did, how did you how did you do it and mm -hmm. and i think you know maybe ultimately that's what we're going to start thinking about as well yeah mm -hmm. last night um after she was eliminated aaron martin said that she felt like uh Philo's song choices for her had sort of factored into the elimination What's the collaborative process with your coaches been like for you two? Has it been a positive experience? Has it made things – is it stressful to have somebody else choosing your song? <laughs> well, I, it is a collaborative, um, you know, effort. You um, have the chance to, to, to prove yourself, and if you want a song bad enough, show your coach, look, this is what I can do. Like, I, I've sent demos. Like, you can – you have – total say-so as well as to what you sing and um, 
you know, for me, it's been a it's been a great experience. I, CeeLo has not steered me wrong yet, so. Yeah, I, I from what I understand, I think some of the coaches, every coach, that's that's where their strategy or each each coach's you know technique is is maybe a little different. Uh, they just have different ways of approaching the song selection process. Um, I, I've been told Christina sits like on the floor in her bathroom and with CDs going, you know, actual CDs, <laughs> no iPod, no, no Pandora, nothing, but she's, you know, really hands on with it. Uh, Adam, it, it, we've been very, Im it's, it's, it's sort of an impulsive dialogue, you know, via e email, like, you know, late night, what about this, what about that? Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's a lot of fun, but it, but again, it really, I think, boils down to a level of, of connection and trust with, with your coach to say, okay, look, if we're going to do this, then let's do this, yeah. or we're, let's really try this. Yeah. Um, is there anything specific that you guys are hoping to bring to the table in your next live performance? Something that maybe you're going to work on or haven't gotten to show America yet? Um, yeah, I mean, I play guitar, so I would definitely like to do that on the show. Um, yeah. Yeah, so similar here. Uh, you know, um, play piano and, and guitar and would, would love to. I, I think we'd, we'd be remiss if we didn't show that side of it. Even though it's the voice, you know, uh, people that play instruments... Uh, you know, when they sing, it, it, it's an extension of your voice. It's like another motivating force behind the voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think people should see that if, if, they, if they can. Mm 